So this is how I chose to enclose the alternate uh, hardware. So in, in a waterproof, transparent plastic box. I added an um, acid battery. I just put it the antenna like this. It's not optimal for, for the space it takes, but um, I think it's good enough. It has been raining for the past few days and it's all good inside. So I put the board in a simple plastic wrap. I did this for giving the inclination to the antenna. Just added a USB 12 volt to 5 volt USB converter. And that's a 26 amps battery. So in, in my last video I uh, reviewed Skylark 4.4 uh, but uh, it was just after having the antenna receiving things for like a few hours and uh, now it has been a few days and I have a lot of um, new things to show you. So again you connect to the hotspot and then you go to myalternet.com Username Alternet, password Alternet for admin. I'm going to show you the new thing I received. So, first thing I always do when I go there, I'm still not, uh, I'm still looking at the SNR. Six is good, good frame lock. Uh, it was raining a lot this week, so that's why I don't have a 100% valid packet. Uh, and it's not because of the humidity in the air, it, it was because there was like water on top of the of the box uh, accumulating on top and then it was changing the antenna so I, I, I went to to 2 dB and um, I was not receiving anything so first thing and I've seen a lot of people showing off this part is um, now I got weather information that's quite cool really uh, that's what's happening now see so you can see the wind the air you can see temperature you can see uh, this winter starting north hemisphere and getting warm Australia So you can zoom Last time I checked there was a, something going on here um, It was yesterday Something going on here uh, no, I'm not a weather <laughs> expert, but I uh, just think it's quite nice. Uh, looks impressive. <laughs> it doesn't take much bandwidth to transfer this. So, uh, that's for weather. Now you can go to... Um, I, I'd, I'd like to show you... The, um, that the information is not r coming is not random like um, you get this cool little app warning you about what, uh, what what's new <laughs> what just arrived in your in your storage uh, and I notice that uh, it's getting slower and slower I guess it's because there is more and more files so that's the latest latest file I received so you see this afternoon we received Russian security agency detained 69 members of Islamic group. So that's probably our Airbnb. Let's kind of focus on that. And you can see the news going to news. 
So that was uh, World Top News, Russian Security Agency. So the, the sorting is, is good. I'm actually now using this uh, when I come to this room for reading news. I put it on my phone and I'm not joking, it's really, really good. Uh, it's kind of filtering a lot of crap. So, uh, so we're talking about Russian, Islamic terrorism and things like that. And what I'd like to show you is how um, kind of smart is the way that shows their Wikipedia article. Because I haven't received tons of Wikipedia articles so far, but it's starting to be quite a lot. And they are mainly about people. Uh, but let's see which one made... The first, the first article I, I received was about Muhammad bin Salam. Uh, and then I realized, yeah, sure, it, yeah was quite interesting to get his Wikipedia page. Uh, then I was wondering why there is Louis C.K. and then I, I got it, like, yeah, with all those sexual abuse stories. Um, all those articles are not here uh, randomly. So let, let's check on what's new. Maybe the latest Wikipedia is about Brendan D. Wilde. I don't know who is Brendan D. Wilde, but let, let's check it out. Let's check it out and see if it has any Brandon. So the way it's sorting is really, really bad. Okay, it's just sorted by yeah by when did you when you received it, the latest first. American theater film and television actor. No, I I, I don't know. It's quite simple. Just have to go like this. So Jeremy Tower. No. I don't know. Empire Corridor. Yeah, I don't know either. It's very and actually yeah, it's kind of like destroying what I was trying to show you because I it's kind of very American centered and yeah, it doesn't really look there is any connection with recent news apart that I I don't know. I um I don't know. It's not my news. So yeah. If I'm wrong, it would be nice if you can correct me on the comments. But then I, I want to show you something else. It's like a, a, a nice little Easter nugget. Uh, you go to Files, see, Download. And then here I saw Games. I was like, okay, let's check it out. So I saw this one. I was on my phone. I could not play it. So let's try it. Up. Okay, so I just have to press here, I guess. Yeah, okay. Well, it's hard. Dang. This is such a, a basic game. Oh, I'm gonna die. De no, no, can continue. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay, let's try again. Now this is a game. Is what? Okay. Yeah, like real time uh, action game is not the best. Uh, let's go to. The game that really took me a while and I actually I didn't manage to win it was Connect 4. Look at this guy. Imagine you you're alone in uh, your cabin in the middle of nowhere and you get that. You can play. So let's try it. Okay, see boom boom boom. You can play this awesome game, <laughs> which is surprisingly smart. <laughs> hmm, what's happening here? <laughs> okay, that's the kind of stuff you get uh, on internet with only 10 kilobit data per second, so 20 megs per day. Uh, get plenty of stuff. I'm sure I'm gonna still find some new things. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it. So I hope it got you interested in this project and um, you will maybe get some hardware to support them. They, I, I, I just read they are actually working on a 10 times or even a 100 times faster solution. 
that's exactly what I say on my last video. Uh, yeah, I wish them all the best. Okay, bye bye.